Coming up on HDMI Test Bench, we use several different tools, including Meridio's AK Fox and Hound test kit to analyze this SVS's SoundPath Ultra HDMI cable. Stick around. How's it going? My name is Todd with the Home Theater Forum, avnirvana.com. And today we have SVS's SoundPath Ultra HDMI cable back here in the workshop on the test bench. This is an ultra high speed cable designed to meet the current HDMI 2.1 spec, offering 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth and support of the entire range of 2.1 features, including enhanced audio return channel or eARC. A few of the cable's design features include a braided cloth sheath, oxygen free copper conductors, aluminum alloy braided mylar shielding, and gold plated connectors. And while much of that is a nice blend of marketing speak to really spice up this product, I do think that it is a good sign that some thoughtfulness and uh, good quality practices have gone into manufacturing. This cable's ultra high speed designation means it offers full support of 8K 60 Hertz and 4K 120 Hertz video with 12 bit color and pass through of colors in the BT 2020 color gamut. Of course, it's compatible with older HDMI specs and 3D video as well. Here in the United States, SVS HDMI cables can be purchased through numerous retailers and direct from SVS on their own website. If you're interested in buying one, I've dropped an Amazon link in the description below. This cable was sold in three different lengths, one meter, two meters, and three meters. And the three meter version, which we have right here on the test bench, sells for just shy of 50 bucks. Now, SVS ships the cable using rather ordinary packaging. Now, when it comes to ultra high speed cables, the first thing you should always check for is the ultra high speed cable certification label. And don't just trust it with your eyes, scan it with the free HDMI certification cable app and confirm that the information is correct. For this cable, everything checks out. Inside the package, the cable is neatly tied and has protectors capping the cable's connectors. Totally no frills and simple, and I have zero issue with that. Um, I do wish that SVS would drop the plastic bag and go with something that is a little more eco-friendly. Physically speaking, the cable receives high marks for fit and finish. It feels robust and well-made in the hands. In terms of physical measurements, this three meter cable lands true to length. Uh, I measured it to be just short of 10 feet long. Here you can see exact measurements of the cable's various physical parts. The cabling itself is about twice as thick as what you'd find with a thin cable. So take that into consideration if space is tight. Also, you can see its static bend lands around 30 millimeters. In terms of use, you should give yourself slightly more than three inches of space between the back of a component and a flat surface, like a wall, when using this cable, just to make sure you're not applying too much pressure on the cable or a component's HDMI port. Before bandwidth testing, we used a cable continuity tester to confirm that everything is wired correctly in the cable and that shielding is in place and a full board of red LED lights right there. That means it passed with flying colors. Now, in terms of performance performance, we tested this cable using Meridio's 8K Fox and Hound kit, along with real world testing using five different sources. First up is the Fox and Hound's cable test mode, where we asked it to confirm a five volt connection and 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth. And you can see right there, it passed. Next, we challenged the cable with an 8K 60 Hertz signal with HDCP 2.2 and all eight channels of audio being pushed through. And you can see that the cable had no problem handling those tasks. So as far as the Meridio Fox and Hound testing goes, this cable gets a solid pass. Now, next up, we challenge the cable with real world connections uh, to equipment, including Apple TV 4K player, uh, Roku Ultra 4K streaming player, uh, Kaleidoscapes Strato C 4K player, a uh, UB820 Panasonic a 4K disc player, and a Nintendo Switch. 
And here you can see the connection with the Panasonic UB820-4K player. And it is playing a 4K version of the film Gemini Man, which is going to be the official test film uh, for HDMI test bench. Uh, it, that is a 4K 60 hertz film. And you can see there are zero issues. As far as lag, uh, it's really no surprise. I tested this with the Nintendo Switch and no lag was evident uh, to my eyes. So considering all of the results, it's easy to give this cable a stamp of approval on the bench here. Now, just to add, I did have a two meter version of this cable in-house, put that through testing. It also passed with flying colors. We typically recommend to stick with a cable that is at least two meters long. I know SVS is offering a one meter cable. You might purchase that cable and have no issues, but I've been told uh, by the folks at Meridio that they get a lot of service calls that involve cables that are less than two meters in length, just because it can create some issues between a component and a uh, display. So keep that in mind. It's safer to err on the side of getting something a little longer, in this case, either two or three meters. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. We'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.